Hello everyone, it's Eliza McNamara here to talk to you today about the importance of laughter. Laughter is something which brings joy to everyone's life. I think it's so important to see the funny side of everything in life because life can be very, very ironic at times. It's like that song by Alanis Morissette, Ironic. And in the song she talks about this man who wins the lottery and dies the next day. She talks about somebody who, um, oh, I can't remember the whole thing, but basically the point I want to make is life is very funny and you need to see it as funny in order to enjoy it. And if you don't see it as funny, then it's not very enjoyable and it's not very fun. Because no matter what you do, no matter how amazing you are, no matter how much success you have in your life, no matter how much money you have in your life, no matter how many friends you have, no matter how amazing your life is, no matter how successful you are, you're always, always, always going to have the roller coaster ride. And the roller coaster ride is ups and downs. You know, we all have ups and downs. So if you're investing lots of time and energy into your work, then your work life will probably be fantastic, but then your home life will probably suffer. And then if you invest lots of time and energy into your home life, then you'll probably find that you have issues at work. So you've got to have a balance. But I think it's quite challenging to have that balance and to have everything exactly the way you want it and to give all of the attention and all of the time that you want to all of the areas of your life that are important to you. So you have to laugh and you have to just chill out and just not worry about things because they're just not that important. No matter how serious you are about getting things done, you're never, ever, 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 ever going to get everything done. You're never in your entire life going to have a day where you say, I did absolutely everything I could possibly think I wanted to do today and needed to do today. That will never happen. You will never ever have that. And so the biggest thing with time management is to figure out where your priorities are and figure out where your values are and not get too serious about it because it's great to have priorities, it's great to have values, it's great to have goals, it's great to have all of these things. But if you take yourself too seriously and if you don't laugh and you don't enjoy your life, what was the point? What is the point in making a million dollars a year if you're not enjoying yourself? What's the point in having anything if you're not enjoying yourself? So the most important thing that you need to remember is to enjoy your life. And that has to be your number one priority. That has to be your number one value, to enjoy your life. Because no matter how much money you have, no matter what you have in your life, no matter how much success you have, whether you're running seminars, or you're a famous singer, or you're um, a stockbroker, or a banker, or whatever you're doing, there's no way you're going to be happy if you don't have fun. So, really, the most important thing is to just have that balance and remind yourself of that. And I'm repeating myself again and again and again and again and again, but. I think that a lot of people need repetition in order to really take something on board, recognize it as important, and import that philosophy into their life. You can write a book on something, write an entire book on something, and still not act on what you've written about in that book. Because it's not only about knowing, it's also about doing. And no matter how much knowledge you have, you're always going to be a hypocrite sometimes. Because anybody, Anybody can read a book and learn about time management or about weight loss or about how to make money trading stocks. Anybody can attend a seminar about how to become a millionaire trading the stock market, about how to do whatever you want. No matter what you want to do, I guarantee that pretty much whatever you want to do, you'll be able to find a book that describes it in detail. But you have to act on that too. And the more knowledge you get, the more knowledge you have, the more things that you become aware of, the more you become a hypocrite. Because you know all of these things and you understand all of these, these things, but how on earth can you act on all of them? You can't. Because you have to focus on doing one thing at a time and it takes practice. It takes 10,000 hours of practice to become an expert at anything. And you can't possibly become an expert at all of the things that you know about if you're very knowledgeable about a lot of topics. So by encouraging yourself 
to have fun and not take life too seriously. You'll take a step back, you'll be more objective, you'll be less egotistical about having to have achieved everything that you think you should want to achieve. And you'll be more objective and you'll be more likely to be true to yourself with what you choose to focus on. Because if you focus on something, then that focus will enable you to produce a result. But in order to focus on something, you have to be passionate about it. And in order to find something you're passionate about, you absolutely, absolutely have to be true to yourself. Because in order to be passionate, you have to be doing something that is truly who you are, that encapsulates who you are. And when the thing that you're doing encapsulates who you are, it would be so much easier to laugh and not take yourself seriously. And